It's Tuesday, the 5th of November, and welcome to our formal launch of our integration with Active Directory, the Pro Plus uh, product, as we are naming and branding it. So thanks, thanks for joining us. Uh, we're going to try and be fast and efficient today. Um, we're going to run through a few slides just in terms of introducing it. We're going to give you uh, some demos, and we're going to take Q&A. So throughout the session, whatever questions you have, please put them into the chat window, and we'll take those uh, at an appropriate moment uh, in the call, OK? So um, Francesco, do you want to bring the slides up? Yeah. Uh, a very good morning from uh, Corinne Francesco. I am CEO, CEO of the company. And uh, uh, by the end of uh, uh, this webinar, you'll be able to become uh, uh, one of our uh, uh, ProPlus and Aki Directory uh, integrator for Flash Start uh, Pioneer. Pioneer is the good uh, term that we have uh, found to. Uh, to name uh, uh, people who will uh, uh, participate to our uh, uh, program. Okay, let's start, David. Here we are. Wonderful. Okay. Do you want to put those on full screen? I think we're just on partial screen right now. I think. Uh, uh, well, I can I can go from there. I think it's quite watchable. So um, we can go straight to the second slide. Oh, okay. I've got control here. There we go. So, so as as I just said, so today we are announcing Flash Start Pro, um, uh, and Pro Plus as being the two brand names going forward. Um, Flash Start Pro is our classic Flash Start offer. No changes there. It remains best value, excellent tool for general filtering. What's new and what's being added today is the is the brand Flash Start Pro Plus, which introduces the capability of integration with Active Directory. And we'll talk about what that means. So general availability for um, uh, selling the product is the 2nd of December 2019. Um, so just a couple of weeks out there, or uh, three weeks out there. And um, we're going to show you how to actually engage with immediately as um, uh, a reseller uh, and engage you know, to become part of the program. Uh, and as Francesco says, we've we've termed the early engagement uh, the the um, the pro pioneers. Okay, on we go. So um, just a quick recap. Um, you know, here at Flash Start, we've been operating now for uh, twelve years. We're we're already projecting. Uh, on our cloud-based uh, product, which is the main offer today, the Flash Start Cloud, uh, 1.2 billion clicks every day. Uh, it's probably near 1.5 now, not measured in a while. We are just four countries short of passing the 100 uh, countries in which Flash Start is installed. Uh, we're very proud of that, and we'll certainly be uh, making some noise as we, we go through that barrier. This is about low-cost, affordable internet filtering for everyone. Easy to deploy, hard to subvert. That that is our that's our mantra. Okay, and applicable uh, small, medium, corporate business, but especially those who want to deploy this, um, you know, very simply into businesses and be very pervasive. Uh, whether it be the end user as a small medium business or the service providers to them, um, the likes of ISPs and MSPs. And everything we are doing is provided through a reseller. Okay, so none of the basics change. Okay, so I am also delighted to mention that um, um, we've recently overtaken all of our competition, become the number one recommended internet protection product as reviewed by Expert Insights. Uh, you can visit us there and see the reports uh, 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 on us. Um, so we're, we're doing actively more work with other, other um um consultants advising on best of product breeds around the world uh, as well so so watch this space for more of that um but let's move on let's move on to talk about active directory so active directory is the big dominant gorilla uh in the space of work groups for small enterprises corporates and public organizations and uh, that applies in both the private and business organizations and of course into to, to public organizations and especially schools um, where not only is there a need to provide integration with what exists um, there are regulatory requirements around how to do that and so we've paid careful attention to that in this release 
and um, we, we have very good compliance around that. And of course, uh, we'll be looking with you at your specific country by country requirements to show uh, your customers, your end users to meet your specific needs, how we're doing that. What we're talking about today is a solution that works not only for on-site deployments of Active Directory, but also those which reside in the cloud and those which are residing through Office 365 as a kind of software as a service model. Okay, so it's it's the full it's it's the full works, a solution for everything. And integrating um, fully with Active Directory, um, uh, with the um, uh, directory structure setting up and our own flash start permissions. We're going to show you how that works. And lastly, there's no point in doing any of this if you can't take care of your privacy requirements. Those privacy requirements are highly regularized in several countries and regions of the world. Um, we're supporting the GDPR standards, which is recognized as the premium standard of the world. So, so far, every privacy standard we found is a subset of GDPR. Uh, and we'll be happy to work with you uh, on your specific privacy standards as, as they see. But um, uh, we think we're in great shape there. So um, let, let, let's move on. So this is a big new market for the resellers. Um, this is a big new area for end users, OK? It really is very large indeed. So um, like, like we've always been, uh, we are about using um, router technology, maximizing the use of that. So any router with the flash start cloud in the center of the screen, you can see the orange box uh, using DNS settings and now adding on Active Directory. Um, the three of them together give you safe web surfing, okay? That's the proposition, um, nice and straightforward. And we're gonna show you how that proposition extends now um, um, for support of of Active Directory in the in the Flash Start Pro Plus offering. So, um, just taking it down a little. Um, th this is about implementing user level filtering policies, granular filtering policies. So, the individual named users within an Active Directory setup have associated with them their own filtering requirements whether it's any f form of content filter, uh, malware filter, or indeed geographic filters, okay? Uh, uh, and there are very good reasons why different people uh, have even different requirements for, for types of malware filtering. For example, um, uh, those working in the most sensitive areas, like, um, like a finance department, a legal department, um, may be willing to accept higher levels of of defense against malware and will accept a an increase in false positives okay so this is about granular protection for individuals and to that also groups sales department uh, finance department legal department such like in creation of those groups and we'll talk more about that and so every everything is enforced within the router as you can see so regardless of there being uh, an on-site uh, Active Directory. Um, we are enforcing it through the router connection. Um, so there's no possibility to subvert it in that way. There's no possibility to change the DNS settings in in a laptop or or on a uh, any form of device and subvert this. Okay, um, um, that's the technique we're using, and we're applying it to the applications on the browser um, and applications in the phone as well, in just the same way you know us from our classic Flash Start. Uh, uh, offer. Okay, so let's move on to the heart of Active Directory integration. And we've got a couple of slides here, and then we're going to show you demos, <clears throat> which I hope is going to whet your appetite. So, so this is about full Active Directory synchronization. Okay, um, um, so it's it's both the uh, the implementation to those. Uh, uh, those users, the synchronization of them automatically, uh, the enforcement uh, and the reporting. Um, we are applying this to both standalone machines and Wi-Fi guest networks who may be covered by the Active Directory uh, requirements. Uh, coming soon, we're going to be expanding this as well by adding automatic detection of suspected workstation effect infections. And uh, you also see as various releases of this product go, um, <clears throat> taking what is already a, um, a nice 
uh, a professional setup process and making that faster and faster. We're very pleased to be the fastest um, setup of any internet filtering product on sale today. It, 23 seconds install time, a record we we set uh, uh, eight weeks ago, and um, you know we are working towards um, accelerating the speed of deployment on all of our products and especially um, the new uh, Pro Plus offer. So a quick comparison here, um, and I'm going through this pretty pretty quickly. Um, so on the left hand side we have the classic Pro Pro offer, and on the right hand side Pro Plus as you can see with the small blue icon. So Pro Plus does everything that Pro does. Uh, what we're adding to that, as you see, is the Active Directory integration with native window agent, or, or an on-premise local cache, which is important in terms of the performance of this product. Um, you will see no perceivable slowdown response time while, while using this. Um, um, the group uh, and individual granular filtering, <coughs> work group policies, uh, compliance with GDPS, and as I said, coming soon, infected PC detection. Okay. Uh just uh, just a uh, uh, point uh, uh, the normal version the uh, standard version the pro version the first one uh, it is the one uh, you are uh, you're using right now i am uh, telling this because uh, i am uh, seeing uh, between uh, the uh, attendees list uh, lots of our uh, partners friends and uh, dealer and the uh, pro the first one is uh, the the version uh, you are using right now that uh, it was uh, the only version up to uh, yesterday by today uh, you will have two different versions pro the actual one and uh, pro plus just to, to focus the standard version thank you francesco thank you so, um, Francesco, do you want to talk about the components? Yeah, thank yeah, you. Yeah, yeah. Thank you, David. Just to be uh, quick, uh, right now uh, we have uh, recorded uh, the three installation steps. We have made uh, three videos uh, in order to be more efficient, and then we will uh, uh, proceed to, uh, to a live uh, demonstration. So, how uh, to implement the Pro Plus version? First component, the flash start cloud global anycast infrastructure. Okay, 15 uh, data center from uh, uh, Sydney to uh, Frankfurt, passing uh, through Asia and uh, through uh, South Africa. The native uh, uh, Windows connector plugin, uh, we have uh, written a very light service, it's about uh, one mega and a half, so it's uh, very light to be installed inside your domain controller. And the third component is uh, uh, the on-premise platform. Let's call it CloudBox. It's a nice word uh, we uh, thought about uh, three years ago, David. Uh, uh, didn't, uh, didn't we? Three years ago, more or less. The, uh, the cloud box uh, must be deployed on site through uh, VMware or, uh, or Hyperview, even uh, 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 the KVM uh, uh, system is available, and uh, for uh, for OEM and uh, for open source uh, manufacturer, uh, we have um, some friends uh, using, uh, for example, PFSense. We will make available just uh, the the plugin, the connector to be installed in. Let's uh, proceed to the next uh, slides. Okay. And uh, how to uh, set up the uh, uh, the network? We will see the setup of the Windows connector. Then uh, you will have to point the uh, CloudBox IP address as your internal DNS resolver. So uh, you will change from uh, the actual uh, Microsoft domain controllers domain resolver to the CloudBox one. The CloudBox uh, local DNS uh, proxy will uh, forward uh, two different types of uh, DNS query. The internal, uh, the internal uh, directory queries uh, will be uh, diverted for forwarded to the original domain controller and, and uh, the, uh, the external uh, internet queries will be uh, forwarded, agreed to the different filtering uh, profile to the um, to uh, the flash at the cloud network. Uh, no negative uh, 
performance impact on user experience. So um, I think that we can uh, go live now. Okay, and then let's uh, talk about OEM. So, so first step, install the Windows connector into, uh, into one of the domain controllers. Let me take uh, the video and uh, here it is, okay? Can, uh, okay, can you display uh, the video? Now is uh, stopped, just a confirmation to see if you can, thanks very much, okay? Let's uh, play the video, it takes, about uh, one minute it's recorded live so so it is the, the time uh, you will uh, uh, it will require to install okay it's a normal windows installation with dot uh, uh, net components and then at the end a pop-up uh, will appear three languages english spanish and italian you will need to put the uh, the fresh start uh, register username and password you will need to choose the synchronization interval if you if you add user frequently uh, you can choose 30 minutes or uh, if you do not change or remove uh, users you will need uh, simply a 12 hour synchronization and uh, start the service and then you are inside the web interface and the all directory tree is now replicated through the, the Flaster cloud and uh, 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 you can point group and user to the desired profile. And this is just for the Windows uh, plugin connector setup. How do you feel it? Please write. Is it simple? Do, do you think uh, uh, is it a simple installation? I'm not expert on Microsoft Windows. I am a Linux uh, system expert, uh, but uh, lots of people told me that it's, uh, it's, it's very basic. It's okay, really simple, thank you. Okay, second part, number two. We need to uh, deploy the uh, CloudBot, the virtual component, um, which choose to, to show the video of uh, the uh, deployment uh, through the uh, Microsoft uh, um, Hyperview. Okay, we will give two different images, one for Hyperview and one for VMware. The guys uh, who, who uh, will prefer to deploy on a, a physical hardware do not, uh, not a problem because uh, we can give uh, the installer for a physical machine. For Hyperview, this is the procedure. It's, uh, it's very, very fast. Okay, let me, okay. It's in Italian, sorry, but uh, we have an instant installation, but the, uh, the process, okay. Simply select the image will make uh, the uh, both Hyperview and the Amory images available uh, for uh, uh, download. Let's import the uh, machine template. Uh, the minimum requirement is uh, uh, just one CPU core and uh, two giga of RAM with uh, nine or 10 um, hard disk. You do not need fast cache drives since it works entirely in uh, uh, RAM. <clears throat> now the system copy the um, CloudBox machine. It takes about uh, one minute, one minute and uh, 20, uh, 20, 20 seconds. And then the system at, uh, at the end, it has just uh, finished. It's a live uh, uh, video. So uh, we uh, made yesterday an importation. Okay, the system confirmed the, the CloudBox is um, um, has been already imported, uh, you need to uh, choose the correct uh, uh, size of uh, RAM, connect uh, uh, the, uh, the network, uh, uh, the virtual network card uh, to your LAN, and then finally start the virtual machine. Done, finished. Third step, third last step before going online, we simply need to configure the CloudBox uh, virtual machine plugin. How to uh, set up? It's very simple. You can use uh, the VMware console or uh, the uh, Microsoft um, Hyper-V console, or simply uh, you can connect through a, a SSH uh, 
uh, terminal emulator uh, we use part to but simply uh, you can use uh, the native hyperview or uh, uh, vmware uh, console okay login as admin uh, the first password is uh, cloudbox then you have to uh, give a name to the uh, machine second point you need to set up a, a fixed IP address IP subnet network and gateway and uh, third you need to point the uh, the internal DNS as it was a PC fourth point configure the uh, flash start login the system uh, will uh, test in real time the uh, correct configuration status is good and now we have just finished uh, the uh, cloud box installation uh, procedure uh, you have uh, some nice tool about uh, ping uh, change uh, uh, change uh, the m2 value but uh, uh, test uh, but uh, now it is finished finally let me share my screen and uh, we can immediately connect to the uh, cloud box uh, to the cloud dashboard this is online this is in the cloud it's uh, quite similar to the one uh, you are actually uh, using, but uh, it has been enriched uh, uh, with our nice components. Okay, can you see my screen? Just just a confirmation, David. Uh, yes. Okay. Yes. Everyone see can can see my screen. Just can I. Okay. Yes. Okay. Fantastic. So. Okay, for language, Spanish, English, Italian, and uh, German. We have uh, some nice uh, number, total DNS query, the percentage of allowed, and uh, percentage of uh, blocked, uh, the categorized uh, sites, uh, some, some nice graphic. But uh, let me jump to the, uh, to the, uh, the Active Directory version. We have just made uh, several webinars, and we have a very rich uh, uh, video collection about how to, to, to configure a blacklist and so on. So it's not time to, to go into the deep filtering uh, configuration, but this is the main change. The uh, profile management, you can see a different profile, for example, profile for office people, for the top management, for developers, and for standalone machine. This is uh, the basic, the basic profile, which will filter people without authentication. So if uh, someone connects, connects from a smartphone or mobile and uh, do not perform the key directory um, authentication, the system will attach the basic, the catch all account. Let me change uh, the, uh, okay, this profile. Now I can, uh, I can as normal select uh, what to block, what uh, to, uh, to allow. This is the, the normal flash start uh, category uh, selection. You have everything. As before, uh, blacklisting, uh, uh, geoblocking, uh, reporting, uh, uh, reporting scheduling, and so on. The main change is uh, finally the Active Directory button. If I click on it, I can see the user that uh, will match the profile. This is my account, Francesco C. I can add both users and group. Here I can browse the, uh, the Active Directory tree for example i can join the co group but i can also join a single user for example the test organization users just click uh, to the add button congratulations the co group the uh, test organization user and uh, francisco c will uh, will inherit these policies let me come back to the profile list, for example. I want to change something for the developers. Let me block Facebook and social network. For my developers, guys, otherwise they will be distracted. <laughs> Do not hate me, but <laughs> it's just an example. But I think I will do it. Social network, let's uh, block social network. Uh, let's block uh, the audio and video to avoid uh, radio streaming, spam, web stuff, and uh, ob obviously, let's block uh, the malware and uh, content. 
filter. Let me also block uh, some um, some dangerous uh, website uh, in uh, satellite connection and in uh, uh, some country of Russia that are very uh, used to be the place of uh, uh, IT hackers. And then let me push to the magic button, Active Directory button. Here is here I have matched the group developers, and I can add another user. For example, let me add uh, Lorenzo. Lorenzo is one of our developers. Uh, sorry, te uh, okay, technician, and uh, let me put uh, someone else, print operator. Let me add, and uh, here, as you see, I I have uh, I have also matched. A direct IP address. Okay, this is not a news. This is a standalone machine. So uh, the system is uh, really flexible. We worked very hard to give you a very flexible system in order to mix both group users and uh, uh, IP addresses uh, or range. It's uh, uh, very useful in a school's environment to match both users and, for example, guest Wi-Fi. So we can connect, uh, uh, so um, it's possible to match the same uh, group uh, through users group authenticated in Active Directory and uh, standalone uh, machine. Okay. And um, another nice uh, function is uh, active session now i can see that uh, lorenzo is uh, as logged from ep 10.5 uh, the profile is uh, developers and uh, it has been logged since uh, one hours ago francesco same ep but uh, it's a mistake because it's uh, it's a live demonstration it's not an operative uh, an operative environment another profile office and uh, uh, the login time then we have uh, dedicated a very big uh, footer as you see uh, we will uh, uh, recap uh, the main function in the footer and uh, we have uh, the um, uh, network status with the filter status uh, uh, reporting update status and uh, active directory uh, connection status. So every information uh, is inside together with the uh, support access uh, form. Okay, let me stop sharing and then uh, uh, let me come back to the original uh, presentation. Sorry, sorry if I uh, didn't go uh, <laughs> deeply uh, in the uh, blacklist uh, filtering section, but uh, we have already discussed, and uh, uh, you can see lots of video talking mm -hmm. about blacklist, whitelist, personal group, uh, and uh, geo blocking and uh, custom reporting. But uh, mm -hmm. what uh, what exists uh, will uh, uh, will exist, uh, and uh, I only showed today. Uh, the new function in order to to speed up the presentation. Thank you, David. I think, I think that I think that was. Uh, I think I hope that was clear. Um, I just want to just want to add one thing: is it, it's the it's the first time we're going through, you know, making such a presentation. Uh, and Francesco uh, went through the process there, just also to underline that that for those who are manufacturing routers or those using an open source router. In a Linux platform, for example, you can deploy this all onto the router um, uh, if there's if there's the right support within that. Okay, so that's an important yeah. point to keep in mind. Okay, so Just to specify, uh, it's not possible to deploy in a Mikrotik environment. Uh, you will need to uh, to accomplish the virtual machine in Mikrotik because Mikrotik uh, is very light and uh, it's not possible uh, to develop at the moment uh, the solution, but uh, it's possible to avoid uh, the mm -hmm. um, virtual machine, uh, for example, in uh, PFSense, in EpiCop, uh, in, uh, in OpenSense, in Nethesis. Nethesis uh, is an Italian gateway, an Italian firewall. It will be available for, for Bintech and tell that uh, to um, very big uh, partner of ours, but uh, uh, if you use Mikrotik, uh, you will simply need to uh, to add the uh, Microsoft Hyperview or uh, VMware uh, virtual yeah. machine to uh, full fit the uh, the solution. 
Very good. Okay, so let's let's keep going. We're uh, quite a way through it now. Um, so, what have we already done? Well, we're working with Nottingham City Council, so it's one of the largest regional um, governments in the UK. We're deploying into seven schools. Each school is between two hundred and six hundred pupils, and uh, and that is a, a VM on-site application deployment. So. We're very pleased uh, at the feedback. You know, we've had through that. You, you can see um, a nice quotation down here from Adrian Robinson, who is the managing director. He's the founder of his reselling uh, company, Annie Broadband. And, um, um, you know, it, it, it's all gone very well. So we're delighted to be able to have this as our reference and, uh, uh, and um, um, support from them. Uh, in terms of our new deployment. So we're looking forward now to extending this into our Pro Pioneers program, okay, which is uh, where we want to get you engaged to come and join us uh, and move forward. Um, so a word on pricing. Um, now, the Flash Start Pro pricing remains unchanged. Flash Start Pro Plus Active Directory is priced simply at twice the price of Flash Start Pro. Now, that means we remain as the price leader in our field, and you have an excellent solution to address this new market. Okay, so when you go online to your dashboard, you'll find now separate pricing for Pro and Pro Plus. It's as simple as that. Nothing else uh, has changed in terms of the pricing formats. Um, and you'll find more innovations coming around this, such as prepay and postpay pricing uh, as we go. But for, for today, I just want to underline um, where the pricing is at, and that still represents the price leadership price point in the marketplace. Just so we're uh, delighted to retain that. Yeah. Francesco. Consideration uh, dealers, uh, dealers um, who bought um, already a prepaid uh, pack can uh, uh, can allocate both uh, pro licenses and uh, pro plus. So the credit you have already bought, I see lots of our friends, is is available for for both uh, for both license allocations. So the uh, the old credit. Uh, is uh, still valid for the new Pro Plus uh, license uh, license assignments. No problem. Wonderful. Um, so a word on competition, and I'm not going to go into a lot of this at the moment. Um, there's a narrower set of, of vendors supporting um, the Active Directory. Um, most of those have actually uh, on-site, you know, large amounts of expensive on-premise hardware. Um, uh, those without is ourselves, Cisco Umbrella and DNS Filter. Um, so the big, the, you, you, you could take some time to look at this, but, but um, you know, we remain the price leader as ever, and we're offering a full integration uh with the active directory both the reporting and the user side so take care just reporting only on dns filter and um you know strength in terms of attention on detail for gdpr compliance and have you and you you probably expect that as as you know we're a european vendor okay so more specifically on that when you come to the moments of needing to understand that the, the competition will help you through that um right so um action time now um we, we hope we've whet your appetite to come and join us and register for a Pro Plus campaign. So what is this about? This is an immediate um, um, request to, to register and become part of this campaign. Um, so th this is about providing you with resources to build awareness in your installed base immediately. It's about bringing special discounts on those engaging in the Pro Plus program because we want to get more references out there, of course. We want to uh, have our Pro Plus band uh, recognized. This is about providing you immediate access to code as well. Um, you're welcome to take um, um, place in the final stages of beta testing, deploy it in your lab, become familiar with it, uh, hit the ground running. And um, this program is also about the provision of, of, of 
of customized events such as private webinars for your install base, Flash Start and your brand of reseller working together, speaking to your customers, okay? And we'll uh, we'll involve our best people for that, okay? So nice and personal, okay? Uh, all you have to do to become part of this is to follow this link, flashstart.com slash pro plus. Uh, you'll find on that we do we do ask a range of questions about the um, your experience with with um, uh, you know technologies like like AD and a bit more about about what you're doing as a company and you know your availability to to drive these program drive the program over the next uh, uh, days days and weeks so we hit the ground running okay so j sure. just work through those best you can and then we'll, we'll we'll come back to you to to explain details of how to engage. Francesco, I think you want to add something there. Yeah, uh, the link uh, will be available in uh, uh, 30 minutes, just after uh, uh, the webinar ending. And uh, in uh, 30 minutes, uh, more or less, you will be able to, to start applying uh, to become uh, one of our Pro Plus pioneers. Excellent. Okay, so okay. what have we got left? What have we got uh, left? I don't Just, remember. All right, the survey. The survey. Yeah, yes, of course. It's it's very important for us to give uh, uh, some feedback um, uh, about uh, uh, David's and uh, my presentation. Do not pay too much. Uh, do, do not pay too much attention to my English, but uh, it's uh, it's an improve. <laughs> it's an improve. <laughs> Do not give me uh, your uh, feedback about <laughs> my English, but uh, but just uh, just uh, just about the uh, the uh, the content. Now let uh, let me share the the surveys. The survey. It's okay. Here we go. So it's uh, it's a just. Uh, Three question uh, survey. It's uh, very important, and uh, uh, at the end, uh, we'll be delighted uh, to to contact you in the following days to explain our uh, price model that has um, has been adjusted for uh, uh, country and for uh, continents, uh, keeping into uh, consideration that countries have uh, different uh, life cost and uh, different uh, business indexes so uh, if you want to be uh, recontacted back for uh, a sales overview please uh, specify in the, uh, the last uh, questions but we uh, would be uh, very pleased to receive your feedback and uh, uh, vikas from india uh, Good afternoon, a very good afternoon to you. Vikas uh, is asking, can you also share record the session and the slides? Yes, yes, of course, by this evening, we will push out a, a thank DM uh, with the video recording and the slides and uh, uh, the link, the useful links to become one of our first uh, uh, Pro Plus pioneers. So let's proceed. And uh, if you have any questions, both technical and uh, commercial please write down thank to you Vikas. please write down uh, in the chat we have a few minutes to reply to your questions mm -hmm. please mm -hmm. go on if you want to ask mm -hmm. something Fra Fra francesco I'll, I'll i'll just chip in with a couple of questions so i know we've got other uh, we've got the data sheet and the um the promo email uh ready to go what when, when does that go live by this evening, uh, you will have a very nice promo email to uh, involve your uh, installed customers to uh, to announce the availability of the Active Directory, but uh, you will be um, rewarded if you proceed to a, a DM launch towards your customer base. David, can you uh, tell something more about the discount we have thought for uh, people who will proceed with the launch mm -hmm. of mm -hmm. the um, campaign? Mm -hmm. <laughs> yeah, so so we want to we want to motivate people financially uh, for for you know pursuing the campaign with us. Um, we're going to be offering a, a 20% uh, discount for joining that campaign and running it over the time. So the terms and conditions will all be explained, you know, as part of your um, 
after you've completed that um, that request to partake in the program, um, and and uh, when we respond to that pack, we'll also um, provide all all the all the links that ev well, ev everyone will attend this will get a copy of the links to the to the video, the data sheets, the promo, the promo email, um, so that, that the message can be taken out immediately in terms of in terms of what the offer is and addressing. Uh, immediate questions. Um, I I, uh, I think today we also go live with the update on FAQs, Francesco, in terms of yeah. this new offer. Uh, yeah, in, um, absolutely. The, the questions come out of that. <coughs> and um, um, let's continue with uh, the survey. Thanks. Uh, your feedback is absolutely important uh, to improve ourselves. And uh, uh, just, uh, just, uh, yeah, yeah. Uh, yeah, Jane, absolutely. You can have the recorded video. Can I ask you just a question? Are you using uh, some virtualization system such as VMware or Hyperview? Just uh, could you please share in the uh, public chat which virtualization system are you using? For example, Hyperview, yeah, Microsoft, Microsoft guy. <laughs> Hyperview, let, uh, let me read uh, something more because uh, Hyperview, okay. I'm very curious to understand. Okay, both, okay, Proxmox. Uh, Proxmox uh, should be based on uh, KVM. Is it right, Philbert? Because uh, we'll also re uh, release a KVM uh, virtual machine that will be imported uh, through uh, Proxmox, okay? okay? The Oracle box, uh, okay, we can have a look, Vikesh, for, for sure. Um, Andrea Notaro will, uh, Take a note, okay? The virtual box, yeah, it's compatible. Yeah, um, I think that uh, um, most of you will uh, uh, will um, uh, use um, use the uh, virtual system system. Okay, a very um, very interesting uh, question from uh, Bernard. Can the Raspberry Pi with the Raspbian uh, be used as the cloud box? The answer is. Uh, Yes, yes, it's um, it's included in our roadmap. Thank you for uh, telling. It's a very nice question because uh, Raspberry is, is very tiny, very light, and uh, we will uh, create the installation image. It will be a simple uh, TARGZ with an install procedure. Yes, the answer is yes. Raspberry will be uh, one of our um, OEM integration. Someone still uh, uh, needs to complete uh, the survey. We'd be very delighted to receive uh, your uh, uh, your feedback. So please uh, complete your survey. It will be very very nice and useful for us. So. Um... Just, just as we finish off, Francesco. Then, I, I, I sincerely want to thank everyone for joining. It's, it's, um, uh, there's a lot of, there's a lot of work has gone into this, um, this development. We're very proud of what we've, what we've achieved here, and the feedback we, we've had. Um, so, looking forward to working with you all. Uh, in the next steps, and uh, hope we can welcome you, onto the, Propus Pioneer program. Yeah. Could, could I ask you last question? Because uh, it's a very important uh, uh, moment to, to share an idea. How uh, do you feel the whole installation, the Windows plugin, the virtual machine uh, importation, uh, the, uh, the dashboard to match between uh, filtering profiles and uh, group and users? And uh, the possibility to mix uh, both per users and group uh, uh, filtering uh, profile and uh, per uh, per standalone machine filtering profile. How do you feel? How was the whole installation? Do you think uh, um, it is simple for your uh, technical department, for your uh, system engineer? Just uh, a very um, direct feedback about the installation process and the way we designed uh, the whole system. 
very easy okay it's it's very very nice for us because Flastart is uh, price aggressive user friendly and uh, uh, very easy to be installed this is these are our three uh, most important points to be respected okay simple okay I think that uh, sim simplicity is uh, today's hashtag David okay simplicity <laughs> As David say, says, Francesco, keep the installation nice and easy, nice and easy. Every time David remembers to myself to keep everything nice and easy, nice and easy. Okay, thanks for the discussion. And please have, uh, take a few minutes to, to complete the survey. If uh, there are uh, not any further questions i think that uh, many thanks to you i think that we can close david if you uh, want to add something else otherwise we will close no okay. I, I i i just my thanks again my thanks again i wish you a good day and and, and um look out for the link in 30 minutes for the pro plus yeah thank you very much become uh, one of our first pioneers lots of opportunities and lots of benefits for you just complete uh, the survey let's uh, stop